Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project online furniture store and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The version for the Python I am using is the Python version 3.7, MySQL version is 5.6 and Django version is 2. For connecting MySQL with Python and Django, I am using the MySQL connector but if you have mapped by MySQL, then you can use that also, right? So this is a web-based application so for front-end development i have used html css javascript some of the jquery library also i have used for developing this project right so jquery we have used like for current day integration integration of the, for the sliders drop down menus i have used the jquery's right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project online furniture is tool right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the functionalities and models available inside this project right so this is a major project and which has two types of login the first one is a customer and second one is a admin customer can buy the product admin can manage the orders manage the products right so once you run this project then you will get this home page we are running this project on port 8000 because we are using django so this is a home page if you refresh this page then you will see wow effect so you can see components are loading slowly because it's a wow effect and this is a jquery library right. this is about page and it's a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right and this is a small slider here you can see this is a small slider this is all products you will be able to see all of the product which has been posted by admin right even you can filter out the product from here right you can see the products are getting filtered out according to the category right right you can buy the products only and only if you have login inside the system without login you will not be able to buy the product this is the registration if you don't have user id and password then you can register from here you can create your user id and password and after that you can log in in the system and you can order the product this is a login from here this is a central login from here admin and customer both can log in but internal functionality will be changed according to the session level this is a contact us page and this is a static contact us page but this google map is dynamic if you have lap if you have internet connection running on your laptop then you will be able to see this google map right and this is a contact us i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page right so now i am going to log in as an admin so the user id is admin and the password is test so it's saying from user id and password so admin and test so once admin login then admin will get this dashboard admin can perform a lot of operations admin doesn't have any rights issue right but customer has the limited rights customer can perform only certain operations let me go through one by one this is a product report right you can jump on the that page or module either clicking here or either clicking here so both menus are same right so this is the dashboard we are on the dashboard right let me go through one by one so add new product from here you can add any number of product right 100 200 5000 million products you can add from this add product section add new product type from here you can add the product types this is a company from here you can add the company right this is a product report from here you can see all of the product which you have added you can edit and delete the product from here you can see it once you click on the submit then the information will be saved and updated inside your database this is a company report all of the company which you have added will be displayed here you can perform product application from here also this is a product type report and then order report from here you can see all of the orders right placed by the customers once you click on the view items then you will be able to see the items which has been ordered by customer order id date time each and everything you will see here right let me go through right if you want to change the status click on the edit the status and after that you can update the status here right back and update then that status will be updated here right this is a customer report all of the customers who has registered here will be displayed this is a my account section from here you can update your account details this admin can update his account details this is a change password from here admin can change his account password and the about 
Once you click on the logout, the above admin menu will not be displayed because it's a session driven and the menus are getting rendered using the session, right? According to the session and role and permission according to the users, right? So logout. You can see the above menu has been changed because admin has logout. Now I'm going to log in as a customer. So one customer login, then customer can see his orders, my orders. You can see customer can see only his order he will not be able to see the orders of other person or the customers right you he can view items view items uh, what he has ordered right right and this is my order section from here you can make customer can update his account password and the change his account password right from here customer can update his account details now i am going to buy some other products the all product section I'm going to buy this one, add to cart. So one item is available into the cart. Now, model kitchen, and this is a buy product, and add to cart. You can see two items. Now, I want to delete this item, there's a delete button. That is asking for the confirmation. You can see that has been deleted, right? Now, I'm going to buy this one also, add to cart. So two items are here. Once you click on the proceed to check out, then it will ask the payment information this is a dummy payment gateway page no need of entering correct credit card details just enter any of the garbage data it you can see this one right. total amount you need to pay is this one you can't edit it because it's not editable right once you click on the make payment then you can see your order has been confirmed and your order id is seven right. you can see your order here right. this is the you can see right not this one i think this one yes this one because you have ordered two dining tables of this order right so this is the functionality right and once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed you can see the menu has been changed right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this great online furniture store as i told you earlier this project we have developed in python django and mask well and this is a major project which has customer and admin login both but if you still need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching today thank you very much